Hello everybody, my name is Rune Eldred and welcome back to another episode of Dead Rising 2. Now, I know in the last episode that the boss boss and I put out, uh, we beat the game. We got ending B, which is the canon ending for the game. But um, I'm coming back solely because the boss boss didn't have an interest in doing the non-canon ending as I do to unlock the overtime mode. So I'm going to run through, I'm going to save TK and then proceed to do the overtime mode for you guys to see so you can see ending a and then we'll be moving on to case west just as a quick question if you guys are interested in seeing off the record which is a completely non-canon storyline please let me know in the disc or in the comments down below that helped me out quite a bit on whether or not if i should do it so let's go ahead and go give tk some zombrex hi buddy how are you? Let me just give you that zombies. Zombrex. I don't know how you lasted this long, TK. But you are one lucky bastard. No such thing as luck, little man. It's the superior genes. Oh! My daughter takes this better than you. <clears throat> You raised her right, Chucky. God, I want to put a bullet a in him. Real shame she has to die. <laughs> oh! Don't mess with the face. So. I believe before Case West came out, this was the actual ending to the game, was doing ending A. And then with... No, I actually really want that. Whereas I'm doing this... Let's come back. No, okay. So let's go ahead and do the facts. Which, let's see, Destiny Rooftop. Okay, so we gotta stop Sullivan from escaping. So we're gonna go run, do that again. Stop Sullivan, murder him, do all that fun stuff. And uh, back to the conversation I was having. So this used to be the actual ending of the game. And then Case West Find out anything? made it to where ending B became the actual canon ending. Actually, you know what? I kind of want these snacks. More so over other things. All right. And that's what we're chasing down. Oh my gosh, Chuck, what's hey, up? What were you calling about? Yes, okay, I know you saw him over at the rooftop of the other casino. I've lost him. Do you see him anywhere? No, I'll keep an eye on these monitors. I'll keep looking. I just got a message saying that we saw him on the rooftop. So obviously someone saw him on the rooftop. Ah! Alright, here we go. There's Sullivan. So you're behind this. You killed all these people for money. After everything that's happened, that's what you think? That's what I think. The money's secondary. We're trying to save lives here, Chuck. Saving lives? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, uh, come on. We had to take the necessary steps to ensure a consistent supply. Oh. We can't make the drug without queens, Chuck. A lot of queens. You can thank Isabella for that. And TK looting the So that's the one thing I do like about uh, making ending B the Canton ending and incorporating Case West is it does expand more on the Isabella and it expands more on the cure. Open your eyes, Chuck. Do you have any idea how many people are affected in this country? Doctors, politicians, CEOs. Some of our country's best are infected. Even your little girl, Chuck. What would happen to your cute little time bomb? She didn't get her drug. Fortune City was a small price to pay to ensure our country's way of life. You murdered these people! Acceptable losses. This wasn't the first 
time and it won't be the last. You bastard. You did it. You caused the Vegas outbreak too, didn't you? You killed my wife, destroyed my family. Everything that we have done has been absolutely necessary. Damn. All right, let's kill him. I'm going to fucking walk over there and I'm going to punch him and knock him out. That is my goal plan. Oh my god, I right hooked him to death. Good luck with that. <laughs> I oh, walked nice. up, hit him with the left, or went for the left hook, missed, and then caught him on the right, and then just killed him. So now we've officially beat the game for... <laughs> we've officially beaten the game for the second time, which will now prompt us to go into overtime mode. Granted, the only requirement you needed to go into overtime was just healing TK. We're the good guys, Chuck. Not you. Oh, God. Every time I see that, like, I get a little bit of stomach pain. Yeah, it's amazing that he managed to survive it. <laughs> right? Channel they just did what they did with Darth Maul. They attached robot legs this to him. This is Chuck Green. You want the scoop of a lifetime? There's a bunker full of survivors in Fortune City. And I've got the proof of what happened here. I need rescue choppers. And I need them right now. You would figure that after saving Fortune City by the third game, Chuck would have been this hero. You know? Alright, mm -hmm. time for the overtime cutscene. Which, if you want to run over here and see how the cutscene's different, you can, or whichever. Have you seen my daughter? What about Stacy? I'll watch the, uh, the VOD. So, my daughter and Stacy's missing now. Spoilers, David. Which means we no longer get to take the helicopter evac to the city that is about to be firebombed. Alright, so there we are. We're now at the in-game cutscenes. We completed the facts. We're going to save and continue. We're going to save in slot 2. We now have a clean record. Complete the facts, the end, or is it? And boom, we're now in overtime. Shut up! You 
son of a bitch. If you hurt them, you ready for overtime, Chucky? <laughs> oh my gosh, David, he it's said the name of the game mode. <laughs> TK's like, are you ready for overtime, Chucky? And now, you're gonna get me something I want. Oh yeah. You're gonna put in some work for TK. Alright. We're gonna just kick that and get a little angry. Psychopath defeated bonus. Ooh. The handy chipper. Ooh. A lawnmower plus wheelchair. Cool. So yeah, if you if you do overtime mode, that's how you have to get one of the bonus combo cards. Alright, we gotta go get a compromising photo. Let's go ahead and push this open. Make some uh, Lucille's. Good. I'll make two of them since the nails are right over here. So what are you playing, David? Nice. Ghost Recon. Wildlands or Breakpoint? Breakpoint. They just added uh, AI teammates. When play alone. Nice. Did you hear that they just added Sam Fisher and uh, um, Rainbow Six Siege? Yeah. I was watching some gameplay for them and I was like, damn. Keep running through. The Americana Casino. I love the fact of the uh, the cutscene as they're going around and doing this. They actually had my character. They actually had your character? Yeah, so they had my character being shown in all the cutscenes as running around with teammates doing this. Or maybe I just had the same hat on. Alright, got the compromising photo. We need to go grab TK a gift basket apparently now. Literally, the most annoying thing about overtime mode is the whole first half of overtime is you're just running errands for TK. Huh. So now I have to go get him a gift basket, and then I think it's after the gift gift basket, you grab him another thing of Zombrex. The concerning thing is, I'm pretty sure I just heard TK. Yep, you can hear him over the PA. South Plaza. I'm popping my neck continuously.
Actually, I probably shouldn't just sit here and mess around with zombies while I'm on a time limit. No, oh, I thought you weren't on a time limit for this section. Uh, there's not an actual counter that's counting down, but the, uh, you know how when you go to your watch and it tells you, like, the progress with the white bar? And that kind of acts as a timer? Yeah. I have one of those still. But it's going by re oh. it goes by really slowly. I have like 12 in game hours to get everything done. Because I kicked Sullivan's ass really quick that second time. <laughs> so I'm deciding to only fight when I need to right now. Which is pretty much against the more beefed up zombies. Found a gift basket. Damn, they take so many headshots. Alright, let's take the fire axe again. One thing I'm really grateful for about in these ones is the zombies don't really grab you. Like, they're kind of lazier. Because mm. in Dead Rising 1, dude, it was like every few steps, if you got close to a zombie, they were on you. In this one, you can literally just run right down the middle of an entire horde. vehicles dinner's ready all right i'll grab some here in a sec i want to just get to a safe place because right now I'm, I'm literally running down the middle of the street Trying to find some damn champagne. You wanna know where I'm gonna find the champagne? Strip club. Alright, we got the expensive champagne. Case of Queens. Let's keep going, let's keep going. I'll start piling up some of the guns so that way when I deal with TK I have something to easily dispatch him with. Let's keep going, let's keep going. So glad these are all some weak minded zombies. back around to you. Take a walk up on the pirate ship. Like, let me just run past. 
past you. And then head over here. Fucking like six cross country runs around the entire map. Oh, leg itches. Good thing there's not another psychopath right now. Maintenance. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Thanks. You're welcome. I'll probably grab a plate here in a second. So, I the last thing I had to grab was the champagne. Now I'm going back underground into the lab to grab a case of the queens. Case of queen. What? The queen bees. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's forcing me to come all the way down here and grab, grab them. Which I'm starting to feel anxious on because I haven't saved in a while. And I'm kind of just like, well, shit, what the fuck's going to go bad here? In that case, it's everything. Alright, I gotta find a way up over there. There we go. Got a case of the queens. Mobile headset. Uh, if you don't hear from David for a little bit, that's because he's eating. Ooh, I just slapped my microphone hella hard. There we go. Keep it up in my face a little bit so that way I'm easier to hear. That fire is not slowing down anytime soon. Place item. Making a lightsaber. I'm happy. I was so happy. Killer. I find a mobile headset pretty much anywhere like anywhere there was some military people right that is what I could presume I guess we'll keep running though I didn't know if it was going to let me just straight walk into the casino, if that was still part of the area I was at or not. That's good. So I think I'm going to download and try that game that you're showing me, the one where you're pretty much the ferryman for the dead. Alright, got the mobile headset, a USB drive, back into the underground access we go. I'm not gonna get my machete. Alright, 
Let's just run. I don't know how much time we actually have. Kinda wishing I had a motorcycle right now. But I got these mad dodging skills. They really? Because I was playing Dead Rising 1 earlier today just for the fun of it, doing the infinite mode to see how long you can survive. And I was just playing around. I got eight hours because I suck. That's besides the point. Um, so I was sitting there trying to survive and all this, blah, 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 blah. Found the USB drive. Cleaning up after all of TK's messes. All right, now he needs the lab suit. Oh, cool. There's a vehicle here. Alright, now we get to drive. So, I was playing Dead Rising 1, doing the infinite mode, trying to survive. Survive for 8 hours, and, um, the controls for it were, like, extremely clunky. Like, you couldn't whip around the zombies as fast as, like, Chuck can right now. And it was just interesting okay this is obviously the end of the road i need to take the ladder up leaf blower and dynamite well this i gotta see okay maybe it wasn't a leaf blower and dynamite maybe it's the leaf blower and car battery Nope, it's none of the above. We're just gonna take the axe and climb the ladder before I make myself look even more stupid. <clears throat> but you couldn't whip around the zombies as fast as you could as Chuck with Frank. And it was like, for Chuck, you're easily able to run through the zombies and everything without, uh, yep. You want any more meat looking broccoli? No. Okay. Thank you, though. Like, in this, you're able to kind of just shimmy and push through the zombies. Kind of like this. Let me show you. Like, boop, boop. And you notice how he, like, flails his arms. I feel like Frank didn't do that. <laughs> Junebug? I have no idea who that is. Sorry, not trying to invite a bunch of people into my game all right so we need the lab suit which I'm assuming is only in here because that would make sense oh dude we got to wear the hygiene mask because of COVID all right we're gonna keep the hygiene mask grab this lab suit June bug I'm going to set my game to private. Urgent. That's it, Chuckles. You got it all. Now get to the arena and we'll talk about all these girls. All right, cool. So now I just got to get to the arena. All right, let him in. What we do is we're going to grab this. Nope, I need that spike bat. Sorry. <laughs> that worked surprisingly well. Alright. I have no idea where the terror is. Reality. Re oh no, I do know where it's located at because it's in the green room. The very beginning of the game. Alright, let's uh, hack our way through. Hack and slash. Hack. Slash. Hack. Run! But uh, what was I doing? I was comparing the first game to the second one. The first game was super clunky. You couldn't move through. You could push through zombies in this like this. Just like boop, 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 boop. In the first game, I don't think you could do that. Or at least every time I tried to do that, it wouldn't work. Frank would just get grabbed and then eaten. And then just the combat feels so much smoother in this game too. I mean, just beep. I keep feeling like I hear other people in the game. 
like another actual person going like ah mm. bacon wrap mozzarella sticks so good Dead Rising 2 definitely has its replay value for me too, over 1. Like, doing the Dead Rising Saga playlist and going through the first game, I had the determination because I never beat the first Dead Rising. I always made it really close but never beat it. And I'm finally happy that I beat it. I'll probably do the 24 hour mode a few more times, but in terms of actually replaying the game, I just don't see myself jumping through it unless there's more of an incentive. Like I don't even feel like achievement hunting in that game, which is a rare thing for me because I love achievement hunting. It's one of the only reasons why I'm bringing the overtime mode into this playlist. It's for that achievement. All right. Fuck, I should find a bathroom and save. <laughs> maintenance is maintenance. South Plaza. I'm just looking for a bathroom, you guys. Any of y'all see a bathroom? Need a potty. Hi, green room. Can I save here? If I shut the door, I'm technically safe. Alright. Come on, there has to be bathrooms here. Well, this is where I was at the very beginning of the game. Because you take her here and you're running through with everybody. Don't think I'm going to find a bathroom though. That's the unfortunate part. Go hell. She's just walking up with a shotgun. I'll take the shotgun though. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Crap, these are security rooms. I'm just wanting a place to fucking save. Show me the bathroom. Dynamite Machete, I don't think there's a machete dynamite combo card As awesome as that sounds that also sounds fairly reckless. Well screw it It's looking like I'm gonna take my one chance Damn you hearing TK up there just taunting I'm gonna find a bathroom I know for a fact I could find one. All right, let's do it. It's warehouse, another men's warehouse. Some spray paintings. Ooh, actually, this will help me get around here faster. Alright, just trying to find a bathroom. Soon. Need a bathroom here. More non bathrooms. Actually, this should show me where our save room is, right? Right. 
Nope. Okay, it's this way. Right, right. Yeah, okay, so the save area is up here. Alright, I see it. Save. Got a save and save slot too. Take another bite of meatloaf. Annoy David, who can hear every word I'm saying. Let's go save Katie and Forsyth. Stacy, Katie and Stacy. Hi guys. Bye guys. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna be walking up to the arena area. Give it a little toot toot. A little bzz. All right. Ooh. All right. Bunch of dead zombies disappear peering which is kind of weird all right here we go let's open the door well that was cheap too late to play it safe Chuck <laughs> Such a big man with the cattle prod. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. The question is, how is that rope holding both of them together with them struggling? Yep, my fans look like they really want to eat me up. Wait, is he gonna come after me with the microphone? Cause that looks like that would hurt a lot if you got smacked with it. Hang on! Yeah, that's right, crank it. Yep, he is swinging with the microphone. Shit's gone. Stay calm. All right. Uh, 
We're gonna use the crank real quick. I'm fucking working on it. I'm like, I'm trying. Keep calm. Will you dodge, dude? TK's got me. Holy crap. Let's look for some health. God, you guys are gonna have to just hold on. And I died. Alright, third time's a charm. That's what they say, right? Okay, let's let's battle it out. guys from coming back up that's right there we go that's how we do it that is how we do it we beat TK stay down justice served all right Don't cough on me, bro. Don't cough on me. If you are ever really gonna win big. (laughs) 
He didn't win big, but he made a big splash. Onto the concrete. Hi. You guys want to hang around here all day or get out of here? That that was corny. But funny. It's over. We're going home. Oh. I think we finally did it. Oh God. I got me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this alternate ending to Dead Rising 2. Even though it was non-canon, it is still the overtime mode, which was still fun. TK's a little ass, but I'm glad I was able to do it without David's help. It made me feel like a big boy. Do it all by myself. But um, if you guys have missed any episodes in the Dead Rising playlist, you guys can find it at the bottom left of the end screen annotations. The upper left will take you to the Dying Light playlist, another zombie game that both Boss Boss and I have played together. I hope you guys really enjoyed the game. Again, if you guys didn't, make sure to hit the like button. Share with your friends, Sally Pat Rock Cat Dog, whoever you guys got to share videos with. Um, I'm uh, not sure if I will be doing off the record as part of this playlist. Again, I was really wanting to keep only the canon stuff in, but by the fact, but for the fact that I have done this ending, it kind of takes a step aside from that of me doing the canon stuff. So I might do off the record. It really just depends on everybody out there. Leave it down in the comments below if you would like to see it. Toodaloo, everybody.